I'm Dr. Gary Bedicher, and I'm going to be talking today about relational algebra, and in particular, we're going to be looking at the divide operator. Now, the divide operator is a little bit hard to use, but if you know how to use it, it's a very powerful type of operation. So let's take a look at an example here. Now, behind me, what we see is I've got two tables. One is a student's table, and the other is what's called a courses table. And you see the students table has names of students. I made it simple, Bob, Sue, Ted, Joe, and so forth. And these are different courses that the student has taken. So what we want to do here is students divided by courses. Now, what does students divided by courses mean? What we're really asking is, which student has taken all the classes, let's say, in the department? Now, to make life easier, I've only assumed that we have three courses, CSCI 5333, CSCI 5211, and CSCI 6530. So to make this problem simple, we assume we only have three classes. Now, what we want to do is see where each of these courses, which students they map to. And a, a student, that would be a solution, is one that has taken all three classes. So let's go through it here. Here we see, for example, CSCI 5333 maps to Bob. Okay. Now let's um, jump down here. We see CSCI 5211 also maps to Bob. And finally, CSCI 6530 maps to Bob. So what we see is Bob will be in our solution set. That is, Bob has taken all the classes. Well, let's go through a couple more. Here's CSCI 53, 30 feet maps to Sue. So Sue's taken that class. Now we come down to CSCI 5211. There's no mapping to Sue, so she's not taken the class. And Sue has taken the 6530. So Sue has taken two out of the three classes here. So, but she would not be in our solution set. Next we go to, let's say, Ted. CSCI 5333, and Ted has taken that class. CSCI 5211, Ted has taken that class also. But if we come down here for CSCI 6530, there's no Ted. So Ted, like Sue, has taken two out of three classes and would not be in our solution set. Now if we go through We've actually gone through all the CSCI 5333 classes in terms of Bob, Sue, and Ted. Now, Bob did take the other two classes, Ted and Sue did not, so there's really no point in going further. However, we'll observe that Joe has taken the 5211, and that's about it. Okay? So, what we do is we look for each class. And we look for a particular person in each class. And we see, for example, that's how I came up with the solution, Bob. Now, keep in mind, this just happened to work out there was only one student that, student that had taken all the classes. There could be 10, 20, 100 students that have taken all the classes. So this, I don't want this example to imply that you're only going to come up with one, one tuple. Second thing to observe, let's look at the template of how we've done it here. We've got one column, and we're mapping it to another column in another table, and then mapping that to particular values there. And if we find one value occurs for all the instances, that's in the solution set. Sometimes when we do the divide operator, it's a little bit more complicated. And we might have, for example, state and license number if we're doing cars. So we could have two columns here, and then those two columns would come over to another table, and they can map to multiple columns there. So right now I've made the problem relatively simple in terms of a, a single arity table and a binary type table, but it's not always the case. So that's the divide operator. I hope it's helped you, and thanks a lot for watching this video.